Hello YouTubers, welcome to this tutorial. A friend of mine requested uh, this tutorial. He wanted to create this, this kind of design on uh, the wall or entrance of a building, but don't know how to do this. So let's jump right into Blender and start it. Let's create a new uh, scene. Let me turn on my screencast keys. So as you can see here, the keys I press gets recorded and uh, shown right here. So let me try to make some walls or let me see pillars for the distance the design Okay, now I'm done with the walls, oh sorry, the pillars of the gate. Now here comes the actual design. So first of all, let me create a rectangle to fill this area where we're going to be making uh, that kind of effect, that kind of design here. So to extrude let me keep the origin to the center of the geometry then I will, I will scale it on the y axis so that it is it becomes thin like so with this object selected I'll press shift A sorry shift S Kaiser to selected and then shift A cylinder I rotate the cylinder on the x axis by 90 degrees and then scale it in. Let me switch this from perspective view to orthographic and then view from the front. I'm just positioning the cylinder so that the center of the cylinder lies at the bottom part of the cube we just created. Once that is done, I can switch back to object mode. With the cylinder selected, let's go into edit mode and select these faces. Press X and delete faces. We are now left with only the, the size of the cylinder. Press E twice to select everything and W and subdivide. Subdivide it a number of times like five or yeah, five is good. So what 
we're going to do here is count. Start from this selection. By pressing Alt and selecting on one of these edges, it selects the entire loop of the edge. So starting from this one, we count one, two, three, and shift select the fourth loop. One, two, three, shift select, one, two, three, shift select, one, two, three, shift select. Uh -huh. So repeat this process till you are done. I'm just repeating this process. Once you are done, come back to object mode, shift S and cursor to select it. Go back to edit mode and switch the pivot point to the center. This is what happens when we scale down these very these edges rather. It scales down towards the center and this is what we need also turn on the proportional editing and then choose smooth as the follow -off. let's go to uh, photographic view and switch to fonts now press s and using the mouse scroll wheel you can adjust the kind of effects you want. We use the sharp fall off for this effect. After you are done, you rotate it a little so that both edges are straight. Now we are done. Let's come back to perspective viewport. So, what we need to do is select this, come to the Object tab here and switch from texture to wire. Select this object and add a modifier boolean and select this as the object and switch from intersect to difference. This is it. So let's kill it on the Z as this a little bit. With this object selected, shift D to duplicate it and move it behind for this one. Once you're done, you can apply the modifiers and then delete your cylinder this is what you get at the result of uh, this tutorial i hope this tutorial helps 
please uh let me let me see your results after doing this this is the basic lightning and, uh, So, we are done with this. Thank you.